hey everyone so i'm getting lot of comments like uh, which program or tool do you use to see all this data on the left side so first of all the program is msi afterburner i just modified it so here is a full tutorial how to set up msi afterburner just like me So first of all, let's see how to install it. Just uh, type MSI Afterburner into Google and uh, download it. Once it is completed, just open the zip file, extract, extract it. And just so uh, you can extract it anywhere. So once it is installed, just go to Start menu, search MSI Afterburner open it so you will see this default screen it might be different for everyone it's just a theme so okay so once you open msi after wonder so go to settings so and go to monitoring so these are the parameters that we display on the screen that is displayed on the screen so you might be confused there are so many what to select so here is gpu1 and gpu2 so you might be confused which gpu to use so go to general and here you can see gpu2 nvidia geforce 3060 rds 3060 okay just tick all the gpu two parameters that you want to display just take it and make sure to take this one to show in on screen display so this will uh, so that it can be displayed on the screen so gpu2 memory usage it's like a vram so just you can just name it just like i have named it vram okay similarly memory clock so m clock gpu2 core clock and similarly these are gpu2 temperatures gpu2 uses in osd means which we want to display in, in our on screen display so similarly go for cpu cpu usage like this uh, cpu usage like uh, 10% this 10% cpu temperature and make sure to name it like i have named it horizon this so you might see that there is a slash n so i have used slash n to give a space between this uh, uh, c clock and ryzen 500 similarly af after the cpu usage usage you can do cpu clock can clock and for ram uh, ram ram uses this okay and now again up for giving this line you can use again slash n the slash n frame for frame rate for frame time for average time and for average frame rate and, and that the maximum frame rate once you select all the required parameters so on screen display so select a key for on screen display just click on it just click on it on select any key so i have selected insert just um, make sure to select a key insert and ok and minimize it and uh, when you press insert it will toggle off toggle on toggle off toggle on for you guys you might not see this average and max in your on your display so to enable it just go to msi afterburner again go to settings and make sure on screen display just to enable this enable frame frame rate limiter select any key and press ok and then again 
have to select color for a particular option just click on that option and in the on screen display option click on this three dots and select the color according to you and after this just apply and ok after all modifications select apply and ok and yes so now only two things are left font size and font style what type of font you want to set up so for this just uh, there is option there is one more option just select this revert open this revert unit for size just uh, on you can select the size from here this just keep it short okay and for font click on this raster 3d option and select the fonts according to you okay and just minimize it so this is all for the msi after one tutorial so if this video helps out anyone make sure to support me by subscribing to my channel thank you for watching happy gaming